So it's officially Thanksgiving season, and that's not Nina's favorite holiday. Family, food, and football. And I know you're probably like, no, Nina, you're so gorgeous. You must have been a cheerleader. No, 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 no. Although I party with the cheerleaders all night, and I play with a lot of the pom poms, during the day, I like to take that pigskin and punch it into the hole on the roof of the gridiron. So, as it's getting colder with the seasons changing, I like to heat up our bodies with some nice Italian cooking. And what's the best way to warm us up from the inside? To bring in some Italian meatballs to the party. So today's dish is going to be a penne with the Italian pork meatball and a side of baked artichoke with aioli sauce. So let's go over the ingredients to make our artichoke dish because it will take a little longer to make. So for the baked artichoke dish, we're going to do it with three artichokes, but you can do it with more or less. And then we need one lemon, three cloves of garlic, three tablespoons of the parsley, two cups of grated parmesan, six tablespoons of olive oil, from Italy, of course, three sprigs of rosemary, and the salt and the pepper. And we're ready to begin. So I prepared two artichokes already, and I'll prepare this one. So what we want to do is cut off the stem. And we don't need that. And then you turn it around, and you do about, you cut off the top by like one inch. And you can get rid of that. And then you turn it around and you cut the middle. And now what you want to do, you want to take a spoon and you want to dig into the muff. You don't want it, you want to go really deep because you don't want it too hairy down there. And you just keep digging. You know when people stick their face in your heart of palm, you don't want your hair in their mouth. Woo, that was fun. That's a nice. And you take half a spray of rosemary and you stuff the hole. 
And now you take your salt. I like my Himalayan pink salt. You salt the top. And your black pepper. And you just crack that right on top. That's nice. And then we'll take our cheese and we'll stuff that home. So I finished stuffing all the artichoke. And now what I'll do is I'll put it in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. And then I'll take it out and I'll cover it with tin foil and put it back in for another 45. So I'll go do that now. So while the other chunk is baking away in the oven, let's go over the ingredients to make our penne dish. And we need eight Italian sausages. And you know, I'm a bias towards the Italian sausage. But when I was younger, they used to have these sausage parties and I need always got an invitation. Everyone wanted to stuff my face with their sausages and get their opinion. They had sausages from all over the world. You know, you had the Polish bring their kielbasa. And you know, they have a lot of personality. And you have to help them with the casing. But if you think better is better, that's the sausage you want to take for a ride. Or, you know, you got your Spanish chorizo. Very versatile. I like those juices with my eggs in the morning. But when that Italian walks in with this sweet Italian pork sausage, Nanita takes all those sausages away from her face and likes to dive right in. So let's go over the rest of the ingredients. We need one shallot, two tablespoons of the basil, three cloves of garlic, three tablespoons of the tomato paste, two cups of siamazano canned tomatoes, eight ounces of mozzarella, one cup of parmesan, 15 ounces of the penne, about one and a half boxes I have here that I need, the salt and the pepper, and four tablespoons of olive oil. So let's begin. So I already had this heated up, so I'm gonna put my penne in. That's the white box. Don't eat that. And I'll do half of this box. And while I 
appreciate it. And more garlic. Don't want to miss any. And we'll give it a little stir. And we want to get that nice and brown as well. Now that our meat goes, garlic and shallots are nice and brown. We're going to add a tomato. And our tomato paste. And our basil. And spread that all out. The salt. And the black pepper. And we'll give it a stir. Nice. And what we want to do is we're going to cover this and get it nice and hot. Now Nina wants to get her glasses all steamy. So we put my pasta in a casserole dish and I'll take my meatballs and I'll put them right on top. And spray them all out. One good way. And now we can take our extra sauce and just dump it right on top. Give it a stir. Mix it all in. It's a party in here. Ooh, that smells so nice. And now that's nice and stirred in. We'll take our mozzarella and we'll spray it all on top. That's a nice. That's a nice. So we'll put this in the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes. So now that our penne and meatballs are baking away in the oven, let's make our aioli sauce for the artichoke. So let's go with the ingredients. We need four cloves of garlic. We need one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We need half a cup of light mayo. Half a lemon. The salt and the pepper. So let's begin. So we just put the garlic in. And the mustard. And then the mayo. And I'll give this first a little stir. Mix that all in. And then I'll take my lemon and I'll squeeze the juices in. Woo! It squirted Nanina! It happens. And we don't need that. And the salt. And the black pepper. In. And we'll give this another stir. You stir this really good. And this will be all ready for our honey chokes. So everything is done and the dish is ready to be served. With this I recommend a nice glass of Chardonnay. I hope you enjoy the show. If you leave any positive comments I would love to respond. Don't forget, love those big thumbs up 
and hit the subscribe button. If you want more videos in your feed, ding the little bell. And remember, if not Nina can do it, anybody can do it. Bon appetito! Ciao!